Hello, hello, everyone. Nate, glad to see you here, bud. Uh, good news. I finally got the chance to order Dark Cloud 2. I, uh, I just hope the copy works. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm really worried about right now. It, uh, I found a copy that was a little bit under the price that, um, like its average price. So I went ahead and ordered it. And it looks okay. <laughs> it's not an amazing looking copy or anything, but it looks okay. The eBay seller says it's in good condition. So fingers crossed everything's okay with it once we actually get it. Um, I mean, I think it'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. But regardless, that one is finally ordered and on its way. Um, we will hopefully be getting that soon. And then I got Drakengard set up as the next goal now. The one that we rolled for. It uh, The goal for it is $71. It's a fair bit more than uh, any of the ones we've done so far. It's not exactly a cheap game. 65-ish dollars. 60, well, say like 65 and some change. And then a few dollars for shipping. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. It might be a little while until we get that one. I'm kind of excited for it, though. I remember playing... I don't remember if it was Drakengard 1 or Drakengard 2. But I remember playing one of them when I was younger. And, I, I mean, I never got far in it or anything. But I did enjoy it, at least. Also, these Reclicons are kicking our ass, man. Need to, uh... Pay a little bit of attention here, apparently. Regardless, though... Howdy, y'all. Happy to see you guys here. Nate, how you doing today, bud? If you're uh, able to talk at the moment, I don't know what you got going on today. I'm just hoping that... Okay, no map. I'm just hoping that uh, Crisis Core here actually works for us today. Um, <laughs> if if y'all have been around the past couple of times we've tried to stream Crisis Core, there's been some problems. <laughs> Not with the game. The game itself actually runs just fine. Just with Twitch, man. <laughs> it seems like every time we try to try to do Crisis Core, Twitch dies on us. Uh, Yo, fingers crossed, no problems don't today. Fall too far behind. At least someone's keeping up. Well, I'm a country boy too. From where? Nibelheim. <laughs> How about you? Me? Gungaga. <laughs> hey, what's so funny about that? You know Gungaga? No, but it's such a backwater name. Ditto Nibelheim. Like you've been there. I haven't, but there's a reactor there, right? A Mako reactor outside Midgar usually means nothing, nothing else out there. there. Oh. <laughs> Good news, Song. Me and... Cloud. Me and Cloud here are both backwater experts. Oh yeah! Good. Carry on, then. Man, Cloud's so, so giggly, so happy. It's weird. <laughs> Not used to seeing Cloud like that. Finally unlocked him properly on the DMW. We've only seen his face uh, flying through the, the slots there for ever now. Uh, when I was playing at some point, did I turn down the master volume? I did. Uh, I'm just going to turn it up one click. Not too much. I don't want it getting too loud, but I feel like the uh, the voice acting there was just a wee bit quiet. Oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, if you missed last week, <laughs> it was short. You didn't miss much. I promise you that. But uh, we went to visit Aerith to build that cart for her. But right before we got there, Sung showed up. And uh, said that, hey, we were needed now. No time to waste, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I was like, yo, just let me go inside real quick. And he was like, Aerith's not there. Don't worry about it. Let's go. So, <laughs> and our dumbasses didn't even check, which always seemed weird to me. Like, how are you not even going to walk in and just make sure she's not actually there at the church? You're standing right outside of my guy. Like, you could just walk in and see real quick, but 
dude's kind of dumb. <sighs> Guess I'll wait. Hey, uh, Zach? Hmm? Um, so, soldier, what's it like? Huh? I'm not getting the question. Uh... Well, you'll know once you join up. <sighs> if I can join. Don't worry. If I can do it, you can. Cloud, look. It's Genesis. That's a Mako excavation test site. Okay, I'll check it out. I mean, are we surprised? I mean, it's always Genesis, man. Is reconnaissance. Engaging Genesis was not expected. Not expected, so just let them be? Unreal. In any case, we need more intel. It's possible that a larger force is hiding inside the building. How's this then? I go first, avoiding combat if possible, and sneak inside. Then, I take a look around. If I can take them, I will. If not, I'll bolt. Mm. Come on, man. I'll prove that Soldier isn't just a bunch of mindless thugs. <laughs> All right. The entrance is behind that warehouse. Make your way in from there. Gotcha! I'm sure you know, but it'll be cold. Mind your body temperature. If you stop moving, your body temp will go down. To get it back up, just do your usual thing. Oh, that! Good idea! No worries, man. You're talking to the squat king, alright? I can get my body temperature up in no time flat. You have to always be careful of the cold. We'll be standing by here. Don't take too long. Soldiers, just amazing. I don't know if it's because I'm used to playing on the, the Steam Deck, doing all the side mission stuff, but the game looks Activating extra nice to me right now. Could also just be because I really like snowy landscapes. I find them extremely pretty. So that may be it, but like, <laughs> bruh, this looks really good right now. They did a good job with this area, that's for sure. I've already forgotten what they said in the cutscene. Like, <laughs> am I supposed to be going in stealth-like? Or am I supposed to just be fighting my way in? Because, like, I'm pretty sure I can kick their ass, man. Looks like there's only one way in, so that makes that easy. Let's go. Oh. Uh. Look around a little more? Is there something I'm missing? There's the save point. We don't have access to that. There's nothing that we can interact with, as far as I can tell. Am I supposed to. Bro, I really should have been paying more attention instead of looking at all the pretty mountains. Uh, <laughs> I suppose to like you should gather some opinions before you go okay from here you can see the patrols clearly take a look before you go there are three guards they all seem to follow a set route guard a patrols the left route by the excavation facility Guard B patrols the right route by the warehouse. Guard C, you can't see very well from here, but he seems to have a long route from the back right corner of the warehouse to the front of the excavation facility. 
or we can just murder them all. Also, hey, Chocobo. Vegeta doing squats. Would you like? Uh, no, I'm good. I know how to squat, my guy. No worries there. Summoner two, huh? I'm hoping Summoner two is better than Summoner one. <laughs> Summoner one wasn't terrible, but it definitely showed its age. Is there any any reason we can't? <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, is there any reason why we can't just murder them all? I don't remember. <laughs> but like, I'm not particularly worried about it. Guards are constantly patrolling the facility. If you are detected, they will give chase and a battle will ensue if they catch up to you. Zack can escape detection by crouching behind objects like steel barrels. While hiding in the marked areas, you will not be detected. Keep your body temperature up. If your body temperature goes down, so if you stay in one place too long, when your body temperature hits 26, you fail. Why to perform squats? Five containers, but you'll lose one if the fall. Oh, that's why we don't want to get caught. Okay. Gotcha. So we don't want to get caught because getting caught means we lose some chests. It's the first game you played on PS2. It's a wonder you still like RPGs. Yeah. So I don't remember much oh am i in the hiding spot yeah okay i don't remember much about summoner one but uh i remember it really wasn't great man it was okay at best okay are you gonna look this way can i can i go That's three. There should be two more. The bouncer was your second game and made up for it? Are, I, are you joking? <laughs> I've never personally played the bouncer, but I've uh, watched a little bit about it a review about it specifically and uh man oh man it <laughs> it didn't look like the type of game that would make up for much i gotta say so that's that's number four right one two three four yeah okay so that's five that's all of them hell yeah it's beautiful square jank uh, jank, yes. Made by Square, yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's what I would call a good game, though. I mean, I'll have to try it for myself eventually. I could certainly be wrong. But from what I've seen, man, I don't know. It's not, uh, it's definitely not at the top of my list of games I wish to play. I generally like the stuff that Square puts out, or at least Square Enix, but <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think it's a uh, terribly expensive game or anything, at least. I'll give it that. So there's a save point. Out of the way. Hi, guys. I was just admiring your save point over there. Trying to decide if I should go the other way first. I mean, I don't see anything over there other than a save point, but it's still tempting, to say the least. Could be a chest, maybe, hiding behind this wall? No. That is the uh, spot we're supposed to go to, though, it looks like. Activating combat oh. mode. Hi, Genesis Poppy. Get wrecked. Oh yeah. Okay, so back the way we came. I don't know if there's anything hidden over here, but come Activating on, man. Combat mode. Can't just not check. Later. Take that. 
Oh shit, you can't just dodge roll out of the way of that? Well, whatever. <laughs> Not that it really mattered in the end. I mean, I should have known. When did you ever just dodge roll out of the way of stop, of all things? This is so much easier than the side quest that I've been doing. I really do want to 100% the game because I never have. And it's, you know, Final Fantasy game, one of my favorite series. But, like, bro, I've been playing on my lunch breaks almost every day. And I'm only, like, 20, maybe 30% of the way through all of the side missions. And I've been doing that basically since I've gotten the game. And it's just never ending. <laughs> There's so many freaking side missions, man. Like, it's ridiculous. If I do end up doing it, since you can change the difficulty at any time, I think what I'm going to do is just put it on, like, normal mode or something. So I can just breeze through all the side missions more quickly. But I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a tough sell right now. There's lemon Kit Kats. There's also blueberry muffin Kit Kats. I don't know how I feel about oh, that, yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest. I love lemons. Activating I mean, I guess mode. I do like lemon cookies. And Kit Kats are basically just, you know, chocolate-covered cookies. Ah, damn it. Uh... Well, <laughs> okay, he's dead. Blueberry muffin sounds pretty good, though. Can't say I've ever had a bad Kit Kat, so I mean, it's, they're both probably good at the end of the day. One of these days, I want to order one of those boxes, or like sampler boxes, of uh, Kit Kat flavors from Japan. There's just a crap ton of weird, unique flavors that are exclusive to the country. Try out like uh, the matcha and there's definitely other ones, but that's the one like everyone talks about. I do know I saw in a uh, Abroad in Japan video that they have sake ones. I don't know if you can have those imported or not, because they actually have sake in them. Like it's they're very low levels of alcohol, of course, but they are technically alcoholic. Um, it's like they can't be sold to minors over there and all that BS. But apparently they're also very good. And uh, I'm tempted to try them. I've never had sake before. What's even, the meaning but... of this? You need me, Genesis. Remember that. If you get rid of me, who's going to stop the degradation? <laughs> the Genova cells. <laughs> Stop! Cloud! Good work! But nobody knows where the Genova cells are being kept. Not even Hojo knows. You'll never find it. Then I shall willingly accept my fate. But I'll take the world with me. <laughs> Cloud getting his ass kicked no. by a scientist. A scientist trying to run after Genesis. <laughs> like, you know this dude's trying to murder you, right? Why the hell are you running toward him, my guy? Now that's just cheating, man. Activating combat mode. Bruh. <laughs> that is... I can't... The, the, the enemies I've been fighting in the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. In the... I don't have my back buttons anymore. Um, in the side... Holy shit. Side missions? It's like impossible to knock their special abilities out. Because it takes, like, so much damage to really have any effect on them there. Um, I don't 
Oh, okay. That worked surprisingly well. Uh, okay. Pop a Phoenix down real quick. And then how do we... <laughs> Cure. <laughs> okay. It's been a little while, man. <laughs> Since I've played not on my Steam Deck. On my Steam Deck, I got the back button set up to be... Uh, like, cure and steal for me. Oh, he's invincible all of a sudden. An elixir? Really? Regen? No, bruh! <laughs> Wait, so is he... Is it only magic? Oh. Okay, he's switching between... Wait, what? Bruh, that's just annoying. How do I break through his guard? There we go. Okay, it's working now. Just had to wait for it to wear out, I guess. Wait, again? Dick. And he's got that regen on. Uh, I guess time to pop some ethers, man. No MP cost? Cool. Heal. Then just knock him the hell out with fire, man. <laughs> Dark fear to the rescue. Let's go. Dreams of the morrow. Hath the shattered soul. Pride is lost. Wings stripped away. The end is nigh. Such is the fate of a monster. We're not monsters, you hear me? We're soldier. Where's your honor? <sighs> Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. If this world seeks my destruction, it goes with me. Genesis. Should have finished him off, bro. <laughs> That definitely won't come back to haunt us, right? New Limit Break, Apocalypse. When a limit verge occurs during normal DMW mode, Genesis's image reel will sometimes be added. This means that DMW has entered Genesis mode, and when his image reels match, a corresponding limit break move will be added to your stock. The Genesis image reel may become unavailable when proceeding to a new chapter, among other reasons, but it will reappear when Genesis mode becomes available again. Why to use limit break? Okay. Song? Cloud? Where are they? Hmm? What is that hole? Did they go in? I mean, Cloud came in after us, so who knows, man? He could be in the facility somewhere. But no, he's probably in the hole. Just making sure they didn't, like, add any chests or anything after we left. Can we go down here? Oh, it will let us. Uh, There's probably nothing downstairs, right? Would even let us go back downstairs now? 
Probably not. Oh, you kick. Ooh, is this Genesis mode? Let's go. Can we? Yes. Okay, what's Apocalypse look like, dude? Show me the true power of Soldier. Find your own business. Well, that's fancy. Oh yeah. Pure Dark Blizzara. stronger. Well, thanks, man. Honestly, expected a little bit more, but I'll take it. Now that we can just explore down here, is there anything, or is it just just an empty room? Just an empty room. That's too bad. I feel like that would have been a fun place to hide something. Yes, you can still master... Well, you can master Materia. Um, but it doesn't do anything mastering it outside of... Whenever you go to fuse it, it may fuse something different. Um, there's probably other small changes, like the amount of SP you get if you uh, get rid of it and stuff like that. But, like, yeah. What about the slots? Uh... If I'm not mistaken, the only thing, like, you can't master the slots themselves. Or do you mean, like, the materia slots or the literal slots up in the corner, the DMW gauge? The DMW, you can get memories from people, which I don't think actually does anything outside of, like, give you more story bits. Um, and then the materia slots, no, there's no, like... It's all under the equipment screen here. There's no connection for any of them or anything like that. So, yeah. DMW. Okay. You remember having Healing Wind and Costly Punch on the command bar? I don't think so. My memory's pretty shit. But maybe if you get, like, all of the memories for someone, you can unlock it as an ability or something. I'm not 100% sure, though. how you beat Minerva. Yeah, I can imagine Healing Wind would be a huge help, man. Oh, new mail from Kunsel. Kunsel? Right bumper. Snowy Village. So now you're in Modeum. M Modeoheim, eh? Isn't that near Icicle Inn? The permafrost area? Must be freezing cold out there. That area was once a candidate for Mako excavation when it was abuzz with construction workers and scientists around the Shinra facility. But after the plans for Mako reactor were canned, the village was deserted. That is, until reports of disturbing activity started popping up recently. The seclusion and harshness of the environment must make it a convenient location for anti-Shinra groups. Yeah, I don't remember, man. I'm sure you're right, but it's been so long. Uh, healing... Wind Materia. Is there a way to get the following Materia? Crisis Core. Healing Wind and Costly Punch. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, okay, so you can buy it, it looks like. Healing Wind is a special materia from a special shop that increases the chances of Healing Wind on the DMW activating. Um, so yeah, there's a similar one, Healing Wave. Um, that, yeah, I don't know exactly what it does, but it's not quite the same thing. Random game F game <laughs> words are hard. Random game FAQ forum posts aren't uh, <laughs> aren't necessarily the the most informative for all the fine details. Activating combat mode. But as far as healing wind goes, at least yeah, it looks like you have to buy it from a specific shop. I'm assuming it's something similar for costly punch. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, I don't think I did even half of the uh, side missions, so I probably missed a lot of the shops and things like that. 
Because not all of them, but from what I've read, that's how you unlock a lot of them. It's between, like, talking to people and, uh, and doing the side missions, unlock all of the, that stuff. Fancy house. This doesn't look haunted at all. Activating combat mode. Ow, you dick. Resolved. Oh yeah. I never got real big into the materia fusion thing either. You can Activating make some really powerful mode. materia as far as like uh the stat bonuses that you get by doing oh, it. Yeah. Um but from what I remember of the game, like, it wasn't hard enough to really require all that. <laughs> Hence why I haven't messed with it a whole lot now, either. I did a little bit to get the, uh, like, Dark Blizzara, Dark Ferrara, and stuff like that a little bit early. But, yeah. I haven't really tried to optimize the, the stat bonuses with them or anything. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. Shinra's rapid growth has given birth to distortions in many parts of our world. There are Shinra's shadows, dark entity entities that the president and the vice president must confront. That in turn may define us as victims of Shinra's shadows. However, we, as employees of the Shinra company, must act with accountability. And I trust that you will do just that, even without my leadership. Thank you and good luck. What are you? A phone? Looks like I have some voicemail messages. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, sure. Let's listen to some. <laughs> Why not, man? You have 23, 23 messages. messages? All right. Costly punch, fuse a punch accessory with a DMW material. Okay, okay, okay. So you have to unlock the shop or whatever that lets you buy those. Buy one and then fuse any punch accessory with that. How the hell does the phone service still work here? Like, <laughs> this place looks pretty run down, my guy. Hey, party of eight for tomorrow. Oh, it's voicemail. Message three. My stomach's been hurting ever since I had those drinks at your place. What gives? I'm gonna sue. Message four. Good luck suing, my guy. <laughs> Probably not here now, girl. Five. You're so closed. You didn't go out of business, I hope. Message six. Are there any front row seats left? Front Message row seats for what? Seven. It's closed. Message eight. G Day is coming up. Make sure you're open then. Understand? Uh. Message a little ominous. Please answer our questionnaire and we'll message 10. Can we write your place for a private party? Message 11. LTPs? What are LTPs? You've Am I missing something obvious? There in the store, right? Worst case, the deal's still on even if you ain't open for business. Oh, they had some shady stuff going on. Message oh. 12. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this you. Is the recycling service. We're going to ask what time you want us to come by for pickup. I thought you were talking about the game, so that <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. But we have to move D-Day. I'll call you when the new data set. Message 14. If you're closing for good, what's going to happen to my personal bottle? Message 15. Personal bottle? Did you close up the spa too? Message Bro, if we're closed, I don't think calling repeatedly is really going to do much for you. My- Aw, oh, fuck. My controller just died. Who the fuck leaves D-Day voicemails? Who the fuck keeps calling a business after realizing they're closed over and over again? Like, just in general, man. Like, bro, we're pretty obviously closed. Leave us the hell alone. <laughs> 
<laughs> Check off spot. You're not gonna be able to reach me for a while. I don't think anyone was here to take your deal anyways. Hi, I have a reservation for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I bet you are. Message 19. I heard your clothes for renovations. When's the reopening? Message 20. This is the Shinra Tourist Bureau. We're calling today to inquire about reusing your facilities. Message 21. Looks like I won't be able to pick up the package. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get rid of it for me. All right. Message 22. So you wanted to pick it up just to get rid of it? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Wrong number. Message 23. I'm sure you already know that the location of the package is inside the trunk next to the stage. Okay, so Looks trunk like next to the stage. We're gonna wanna pick that up. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, this right here. There's something in the trunk. Oh, was it, that was it? <laughs> it was just a power <laughs> wrist? Really? <laughs> That's what all of that was about? Uh Vitality. And something. Add silence, some abilities. Meh. Uh, no, wait. Hold on. I was here for a reason. Power wrist. Attack plus 10. <laughs> All of that. All of those calls and things were just for a damn plus 10 attack equipment. Why make it sound so uh, ominous, man? That was a weird... Quest marker glitch. What's this then? A boiler handle? Okay, we're probably gonna need that for something. At least the water's still hot. Must be a natural spring. I say we just ignore that thing and take a bath, dude. No? We gotta fight it? Okay. You're weak to fire, huh? Wait, you're weak to fire and you use fire magic? That doesn't make much sense. Get wrecked. Complex result. And geo monsters. Does that mean he's here? Would he have to be here for his monsters to be appearing? Is that how it works? <laughs> Ow. Wait, seriously? It's way too hot. Is there any way I can cool things down? Activating I mean, <laughs> you know magic, my guy. Like, <laughs> you could just conjure a giant ice cube into the bath. Or seven. Where? Okay, so we got the boiler handle thing. I imagine that's what we gotta do. Pop the boiler handle into something. Turn down the boiler. Where is said boiler, though? Well, I don't think it's going to be by the stage. Is this the right way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got showers. Up the stairs, then? The natural spring boiler? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud, come on. I mean, with all the overgrowth and filth and whatnot, this place has obviously been closed for a while. Okay. So the idea that a boiler's still up and running is just kind of crazy, Tom. but... Maybe the boiler's full of cold Tom. water that we can dump in. Up ahead. You have to catch Hollander. 
And Gio is waiting for you. No, <laughs> Ramirez, what happened? What? <laughs> Ramirez? And Sung, okay. <laughs> the boiler up here? I'm Hi, sorry, Cloud. I'm of no help. That's eh, fine. Take your time, my guy. Hmm. Maybe it's a little farther on. I mean, it would make sense for it to be in... Oh. Second floor and boiler room. It would make sense for the boiler to be near the boiler room. I think it's a good place to look. Uh, I'm assuming we can't get that. Here. Yeah. Horse bracelet. Okay. Where's this damn boiler control thing at? Another floor down? Guess so. Is the one boiler thing really going to give us access to two different, like a chest and a uh, material, though? That doesn't sound right. Oh, is this the that handle? There is a... Okay. So that'll let us get this materia. Did that also cool off the hot spring, though? But what are you inspecting it for? Just grab it. Oh, it's not even materia. It's a lightning armlet. That's uh, an item, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's definitely still full of water. It doesn't look hot, though. Hey, okay. And before more useless junk. I mean, useless might be a little harsh for Dispel, but it's not exactly a, a mission critical thing either. Especially since I'm pretty sure I have a couple of them already. One thing with only having one person, whereas like with Final Fantasy VII, you know you have parties of three, is uh, I feel like I don't get as much variety in the materia that I can use. Because obviously the slots are limited that you can have equipped at any time. And you can switch it up. Like you can have a few different preset equipment loadouts. But uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I have two, and I feel like those are the only two I ever really need. There's one for, like, hard bosses when I'm doing side missions that has, like, barrier and M barrier and stuff like that. And then I have my just normal one. <laughs> like. So I don't really get to mess around with Dispel and crap very much. Especially because it's not like I know whenever I'm going to need Dispel Magic or something equipped unless I fight something and die to it a couple times, I guess. It should have been me. I should have dealt with Genesis. Yeah. Then why'd you send me? To prepare you for your next fight. Have you lost it? <laughs> Stop it! Someone's waiting for you, no? Angel, don't do this. Very good, Angel. It is time to exact vengeance for our family's suffering. Family? No! My father is dead! <laughs> Fine. Then do it for your mother. My mother's shame made her take her own life. Shame? How terribly misguided. She should have been proud. Proud that she was the namesake of our experiment. Project G. Or should I say, Project Jillian? 
Don't say her name. <sighs> Jillian, the woman implanted with Genova cells. Genesis, who had her genes mapped onto him during the fetal stage. Yes, Genesis was a failure. I'll admit it. But you, Angeal, you were actually bred inside Jillian's body. You, you are perfection. Ugh. Zach, I am perfect. A perfect monster. My cells can absorb genetic traits and pass them along to others. A two-way conduit. Genova's power has passed on to you completely. <sighs> Zack, do you remember what I said about our enemy being all that creates suffering? Yeah, but you're not one of them. But I created my own suffering. Zack, let me show you. Stop it! You don't know what you're doing! Damn! <laughs> At least the one fuck? sample! This dude's hardly better than Hojo, my guy. That's a pretty damn low bar. <laughs> Hojo's kind of a bastard. I get like, okay, so the cells can, you know, merge and shit because of his Genova abilities or whatever. But where the fuck's all the metal armor come from? <laughs> Activating combat mode. Weak to fire and ice, okay. Ow. That hurt. Ah. Oh, damn, boy. I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Just barely. Ow, you dick. You're in for your shots. The power of soldier. All right, here comes the big one. For a level five limit break, that really didn't do much, man. Oh, wow, you really don't take any. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit. No AP cost. I mean, that doesn't do much for me, sadly. Uh, I guess this is where Dispel would come in handy. Probably go ahead and pop a Phoenix down. Oh good, he's throwing up barrier again. He's slowing me? What was that? I didn't want to just do like magic spam again, but oh wait. He's guarding against magic this time. Okay, so it changes. Nice. Well no MP cost though, so like. Ow, dick. Let me get a couple off. Nice. Oh my god, dude. I did not mean to use that. Whatever. Is this the end? No, not if I can. Having the uh, the cure spell and the use item thing on the same thing. I don't know if it's the best move.
Ooh. Come on, one more. There we go. Defense of Lust. Okay, that's attack. End of Gluttony? what the hell end of gluttony is where I'm gonna burn through all of my fucking ether in this one fight you have entirely too much health my guy oh shit Oh god. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Good thing we popped the Phoenix down. We might be dead here. I thought, oh, we'll just attack and get a couple crits on his back to get rid of the thing. And no. He still got his block up. His M barrier. Yup, we down. Pop a couple ethers. You still have, yeah, okay. You still have physical block. Don't now, though. Oh no, bruh. We were literally like two attacks away with magic, or just like three or four with... Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I don't think we actually need to make any changes Activating now that we know. Little strat here. So lust is... Okay. Lust is attack. Damn, dude. Uh, anything, please. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Oh, look at that. Twitch went down. Imagine that, my guy. Every time, I swear. Every time <laughs> that I play Crisis Core. What is this? Okay, it should be reconnecting in a moment. Let me pull up Task Manager. Is it like... Is something... I don't... I don't know what the problem is. Like, <laughs> every single time, dude. There we go. We should be live again. Every time that we do Crisis Core, it fucking dies. I mean, it's back. I'm gonna keep going. This is the longest Crisis Core stream we've had in a while. <laughs> Before it died. But I'm looking at my stats here. Task Manager Performance Monitor. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I'll check out Ethernet stats. Okay, I'm not like maxing out on it here or anything. Back to the game. I'm gonna have to try to play the game and <laughs> watch fucking uh, Task Manager at the same time, I guess. But, okay, just rolling around here. Like, okay, my CPU usage is high, don't get me wrong. Uh, can I, or I think you, well, no, defensive light would be, I don't remember what you would. Anyways. My GPU's not getting that high. My CPU's getting pretty high, but not like, 
peg to 100 or anything. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand what the problem is. If it's just coincidence or, or what? But like every fucking time, dude. Oh shit, that, that one sucked. Oh well. Damn, dude. Oh, look at that. It's down again. Bruh. <laughs> what is going on? I really don't understand <laughs> what is going on. Is it a Twitch thing? Is it a me thing? I don't... The, the reason why I don't think it's a problem with me right like with my computer or anything is because i remember when i mean and twitch can't even fucking hear me right now viewers but i remember like when oh wait maybe you guys can hear me now yeah okay looks like it's back up now anyways the reason i don't think it's a me problem is because remember when we had the uh recording quality settings boosted way too high like my voice got all fucked up and stuff but the the stream didn't fuck up right um so like i don't think it's a me problem like i don't think it's my cpu or gpu problem or anything like that so i don't know why this is happening i've updated obs <laughs> my internet connection at home as far as i can tell is fine but it's also happened a couple times whenever we've just been playing ps2 games only a couple though it's like every damn time <laughs> that uh we do crisis core though maybe some steins gate shit is the time of day <laughs> maybe man i honestly don't know what it is i have no clue oh it died again and that time the game wasn't even like doing anything I'll tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a few minute break. Hopefully it'll be back up by then. <laughs> back up and steady, lol. There we go. I mean, it's back up again now, but for how fucking long? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I literally have no idea. I did see my server disconnected for just a moment, too. So maybe it is some weird, like, Comcast, my internet provider. Maybe they're like, this is the specific time of that we're going to update every fucking week. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday at about 6.30, because I think that's roughly... Because I started the stream late last week. So I think it was around 6.30, 7 o'clock that we had issues last time, too. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, we're going to take a few-minute break. I'll uh, pee, maybe grab a drink or something. And, uh, yeah. It's normally Wednesday at 3 a.m. I fucking wish it was 3 a.m. I'm not doing shit at 3 a.m. Like, <laughs> it does usually actually happen early in the morning. But the last few Wednesdays, we've had trouble around this same time every Wednesday like I don't know I don't know I mean it is you know hot spot time not hot spot but like you know it is the time kids are getting home from school and starting up their their Netflix and all YouTubes and all that shit so maybe I don't know but anyways like I said I'm gonna take a quick break pee maybe get a drink or something and then uh, we'll try and finish this fight and hope for the best that it doesn't keep disconnecting <laughs> Because I want to get through Crisis Core, and we're never going to get through Crisis Core if this shit keeps happening. So, we're going to, excuse me, keep giving it a try. Be back in just a couple minutes, guys. gonna write over baby noodle save we're gonna start a new one here dear mr potter you have been accepted to hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry yours sincerely albus dumbledore headmaster welcome to diagon alley harry 
I've never seen a place like this before. That's because there is none like it. This is Ollivander's wand? Oh god, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to zoom out a little bit. Let me fix it on Twitch. Well, or on OBS I meant, but maybe it'd be simpler to just do that. It's gonna have a tiny bit of a border, but like at least everything will be on the screen. And I don't have to fuck up my PS2 settings, so. Like, for you, join me inside. I, I'm i sure he said something, but <laughs> we were too busy looking at stuff. Can we, can we talk to people? Don't run from every creature you encounter. You can't defeat stronger creatures later unless you defeat weaker creatures now. Yeah, this is like an RPG game, isn't it? Do we have inventory, like money or anything? Level one, no experience. We have zero sickles, so no money. Okay. And we have no items. Nice. You remember this being hard, especially the fucking bank area? I've never played this one. I'm I'm fairly certain I played a Harry Potter game as a kid, but oh god, I really don't remember which one. Hello, Harry. <laughs> this is Mr. Ollivander. He'll set you up with a wand. Come find me later at Gringotts Bank. Oh god, speaking of the bank area... There's only one wand for every wizard. We'll have to test a few before we find yours. Try this one first. Cool, can I blow some shit up now? Obviously not the right one for you. Maybe you'll have better luck with this wand. That's a no from me, dog. Still not working. You must need a very special wand. Hmm, I have an idea. Try this one. It's made of holly with a phoenix feather core. Oh, snap. We found just the wand for you, Harry Potter. It is equipped with the spells Flopendo and Vermilius Uno, which will protect you in magic encounters. I can't pay for it, though. Hagrid has arranged for 119 sickles to be charged to your account at Gringotts. Thank you for stopping by. I'm sure you'll put your wand to good use. You receive Harry's wand. Let's go, dude. Thank you. Oh, no, Harry Potter. Thank you. You have received your wand, the most necessary equipment of any Witcher Wizard. You can now cast the first of many spells you will learn. Cool. Can I do that now? We have no items. Okay. So wait, this is like a whole fucking RPG game, huh? Use this item, yes. Oh. Can't use it right now. Okay. Well, fucking two then. Hey, aren't you Harry Potter? Well, you are, aren't you? And if you're here, it means you're finally going to Hogwarts. Does everyone know everything about me? This is gonna be great. Harry Potter at Hogwarts? Is there anything I can do for you? Do you need any famous witches and wizard cards? I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, they're the best. They're cards you collect and trade. And you can make card combinations that create magic. Sounds better than playing solitaire. I used to do that a lot. Who the fuck is this guy? Who are we even talking to right now, dude? I have a lot of spare cards. I'd be honored to give you some of them. There are four different decks you can collect. Here, pick the one you want to start with. Choose your deck. Justice Pillowickle. Gulliver Pokebee. Pokebye. Gregory the Snarmy. Merwin the Malicious. Gregory the Snarmy? The Smarmy? I... <laughs> what? Sure, Gregory the Smarmy. That's who we want, dude. This deck looks interesting enough. There are two more things you'll need. One's a Folio Magi, where you store your card collection. Well, thanks, man. The other thing you'll need is a Folio Triplicus. You store your card combinations in it. I even throw in a couple of combinations for free. Well, aren't you just the best, dude? You receive card combination. You receive card combination. Doesn't even tell us what card combination. You just you just receive a card combination. You have found a famous Witches and Wizards card. And another one. And another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. This is very generous of you. All right. It's been a few minutes. The stream is still up. <laughs> it doesn't have the uh, reconnect button on it there. So hopefully that's a good sign. Ow. Oh. I'm going to pull up Task Manager again just so I can keep an eye on it to make sure there doesn't seem to be any problems there. 
Let's return to game and hope for the best, shall we? Return to game. Okay, he... Okay, he's got M, M Barrier up right now. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's Task Manager. Task Manager's causing the problem. <laughs> it's drawing too much power. Alright, uh, get Ether ready. End of Gluttony. Oh, that's a heal, okay. You bastard, man. Okay. Thunder of Envy. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Thunder of Envy sucks. <laughs> that hurts, bro. <laughs> so we need to keep an eye on that. If he's doing Thunder of Envy, we need to just... Okay, it also happens very quick. So what have we learned? <laughs> we learned that... Getting crit after crit on him activating combat mode. activates a very strong and very annoying ability. You got the peeps, Pepsi? I did see that message that you sent me, love. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I personally uh, don't think I would like it. I mean, considering I don't like peeps. Oh, dude, two no MP costs in a row? Let's go, dude. Oh my god. Too bad I can't use it. Dude, three no MP costs in a row? <laughs> is, is the game taking pity on me? Get wrecked. Let's go, dude. Oh, he's still got barrier up. I'm blind. I really need to get better at dodging that charge of greed. You've been told it tastes like marshmallows? I don't know how I feel about a marshmallow flavored Pepsi, though, you know? Like. Ow. Holy shit. Bringing out the big guns. Meteor shots. The power of soldiers. All right, here comes the big one. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can hear the death adder from here? <laughs> All right. I'm actually... I, I, I'm not sure I, if you're talking about my controller... Or not my controller, but like my my mouse, or like an actual s there's snake, right? Furious mouse clicking, yeah. Okay, I figured that's what you were talking about. But the, the, the adder is like an actual snake too, isn't it? I'm a fucking idiot, so I don't know for sure, but I think it is. <laughs> but I'm using a controller. No mouse right now. I'm sure the, the keyboard and mouse controls for this are probably fine, but... Oh, okay. Nice. Does that stun him for a second? It doesn't. Can we just get invincibility given to us and then, like, everything will be a okay Come on. Let's go. One more. No, you don't. There we go. GG, finally. 4,000 guild, 3,000 SP, lightning armlet. It's everything I could have asked for. Zack, you have my thanks. <laughs> this is for you.
protect your honor. Always. Embrace your dreams. If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Must hey, suck to kill your mentor Zach? like that. Rip, bro. The sky is closer in the city above, right? Kind of scary, but the flowers might like it. Maybe. Like, don't get me wrong, the whole moment's kind of sad and everything, but, like, <laughs> just throwing the Buster Sword up, spinning it around 20 times, and then slow motion walking away, though, kind of ruins the mood, my guy. <laughs> so you want to be in Soldier? <laughs> Hang in there. Speaking of, that filter so, right there, man. is everybody here mm. now? Sir! You're all rookies, right? Sir! Yes, sir! One piece of advice. No. An order. Embrace your dreams. And, whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. Got it? Sir! We're all coming back here alive. You hear me? Let's go. Seem awfully sure of that fact there, my guy. Saying you're bound to lose a rookie or two. I'm just throwing that out there, man. Yeah, we'll save the game. I can't remember what chapter is it. I think it's chapter 7 or 8. But there's one specific chapter um, that once you do that, you can't get all of the side quests anymore. Uh, Crisis Core. Um, all missable missions. Point of no return. Okay, missables are some side missions, items, shops. Uh huh, uh huh. Cursed ring, fan clubs, Squatting mini game, number guessing game, materia pickup and delivery, perfume, building Aerith's flower wagon. 
until you leave for Nibelheim. So basically it seems like before we start chapter eight is when you wanna make sure you do everything. Like, ah. Did my controller get disconnected? Oh no, I, fuck, I'm dumb. <laughs> I just clicked off on the, the, the thing. Like, so glad Christopher Walken is our drill instructor. Project G. Not sure how I'd feel about that, Iro. Angel's mother's experiment. I apprehended Hollander in Modeoheim and turned him over to the company. After that, the company put me on standby. That was a while ago. Shinra is in disarray. The Turks are hanging around me every day. They say our vacations overlapped coincidentally. Yeah, right. But none of them ever mention Angeal or Genesis. Not a whisper. Almost as if they never existed. Is that how little soldier is worth? What exactly do I have left to fight for? What is soldier honor? I believe so, Chocobo. I don't think they've removed anything. Like, just very minimal changes outside of, uh, you know, graphically speaking. Suntan lotion? No. Never mind that. What is this? Are they putting me out to pasture? You could use some r and R. I'm bored. That's it? I'm calling them. Director Lazard's not in. He's been missing for a while now. It was Lazard who was funding Hollander's research. Using the company's money. Are you serious? We we're interrogating Hollander, so we should learn more soon. What's wrong with them? Hmm? People. What are they all thinking? The truth lies within each person. But even truth seems suspect, once it leaves their mouths. <laughs> Cisne, go do something. Calling Aerith? How do you know that? Am I being watched? No, she's the one being watched. Who? Huh? That girl is an ancient. The only one left in the world. You didn't know? She... never said anything. The only one... Left in the world, huh? She is one of a kind. Heads up! Genesis copies! <laughs> fucking serious Genesis right now. <laughs> Fighting with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Let's go, dude. I do not remember this. <laughs> Are we... Are we in a simulation? Is any of this real right now? I'm not convinced. Do I have my materia still? Yeah. Chocobo mode. Let's go. Uh, I guess I'm not going. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Especially with us in our fucking uh, beach wear. Beautiful. These guys are still around? But Genesis. Genesis may be around too. Huh? When the soul leaves the body, it returns to the life stream. Yeah, and? A river of souls circles the planet. Perhaps Genesis's soul is also... Controlling copies from the life stream? Is that what you're saying? Just a supposition. In any case, your vacation's over. Come with me. Junon is under attack by an unknown force. Genesis copies suddenly so showing back up. 
Junon being attacked by an unknown force. Uh, I mean, <laughs> is it possible there's some sort of connection there? This is bad. Genesis copies again. They're just running wild. Activating combat mode. Now wielding the Buster Sword, Zack has learned to take a battle stance. By expending AP, Zack can change stance, change to a stance which has a guarding effect. X plus A to take stance. When in battle stance, the attack command is changed to strong attack, which greatly increases the impact of abilities. Furthermore, Zack does not flinch when attacked. X to strong attack. Okay. Now wielding the Buster Sword, Zack has gained the Necrosmos effect. Stores a little MP and AP every time Zack defeats an enemy with attack or ability. Ooh. Okay, so X this? plus A. This is gonna sting. Conflict resolved. Nice. Oh, yeah. Junon gives me flashbacks though to playing Final Fantasy VII now. Original. I His spent way too much time right up there grinding. It's not over yet, is it? We'll evacuate the residents. You work on securing Hollander. I'm securing Hollander? Don't you need me on the battlefield? Hollander has top secret information. The president says he's priority one. With Director Lazard absent, soldiers' chain of command is shaky at best. These attackers exploited that weakness. Zach, you're the only one who can move freely. You must secure Hollander. Hollander is being held at the 8th level detention center in Upper Junon. Use the emergency elevator to go up. It's at the end of this path. Zack, we need this. He's still being interrogated. He can't fall into enemy hands. Okay, I'll go. I don't even remember why I spent so much time grinding up there. I don't remember if maybe there was something you could steal. Did not say we just got check mail. Inbox empty. Oh, it's just battle tips and stuff. Useless crap. But yeah, no, I don't even remember why. I just remember doing it a, a shit ton. Me and my buddy uh, were playing through it around the same time when I was a kid. And uh, I was still on disc one. He was either almost through disc two or just starting disc three i don't remember and we started around the same time played about the same amount of time but he was the type of person that just like rushed to the end i was the type of person that searched for everything and uh to make matters worse <laughs> we were nearly the same level he was i think a couple levels higher than me um because you know, later in the game, stronger enemies, more experience, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, disc one, almost as high of a level as he was on disc late two, early three. And way farther behind in the story. That's how much time I spent. And a bunch of it was spent right up here. I still don't remember why, though. Like, <laughs> Noodle, you gotta go? Alright, bye, love. Thank you for coming in. And thank you for the five bits. Okay, I need to spend less time fucking around with the new battle stance thing. How about this? Gonna love this. Can I walk while in battle Here stance? We go. This is no, you can't. Okay. This'll do. Can you block? Can. Bye now. Oh no, you don't. But it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, and it seems like battle stance is only good for like one set of attacks too. Weird. Okay. Better run for it. Is this the end? I admit I don't remember this oh, battle yeah. stance thing all that well. Conflict resolved. I didn't miss any chests on the way up here, did I? No. Don't think so, please. Don't forget you. I won't forget you, love. I 
I haven't yet. Why would I start now? Genesis. No, a copy. It's <laughs> a hell of a sword you got there, Genesis. Now that's a gun blade, dude. Taking you down a path's enough. Leon ain't got shit on this guy. The power of soldier. Conflict resolved. Shit, <laughs> my inventory's full of potions. Professor Maybe I should start Holocaust using them every now and then. What? They already hit us upstairs? No, but security was spread thin after the attack, and he used that opportunity to escape. He escaped? On his own? Yes. It's as if he knew an attack was about to occur. It's possible that he received some outside help. Where is he? Are there any leads? Cameras in the sixth level of Upper Junon have a positive ID on Hollander. We're on the sixth level of Lower Junon, so he should be somewhere up ahead. To go to Upper Junon, go through the central passageway gate and go straight. Press the switch to operate the gate. All right. You look after the wounded. Sir! As for Hollander, leave him to me. Obvious info is obvious. Chests, anything? No. Uh. Okay, Thundaga's mastered. I could probably fuse that into Dark Thundaga. There is a uh, electrocute. I would rather have, I think, electrocute than than Thundaga. But I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to make it. <laughs> to be honest with you, Quake would be pretty cool. I don't know how to get another darkness materia though. Poison Twister, Thundaga Blade, Dark Thundaga. Thundaga, Thundaga, Thundaga. Anything cool? No? Okay. Dark Thundaga it is. Uh, we have a bunch of Asuna, so we'll just use one of them. Do we want to throw anything into it? Magic. Magic plus one? Nah. It's fine. Just fuse. Yep. Yes, I know. Fusion uses materia. Who would have guessed? Okay. And then we also have Kira. We could upgrade that to Kiraga. Not that we really have enough health for it to really matter right now, but might as well, I guess. Oh, we actually already have a Kiraga. Is there anything better we can make with it then? Not really. Elemental Ward. Osmoga. Regen. Kiraga. Oh, that would make darkness. You gotta have a... <laughs> That's rough though, man. Gotta have a full... Uh, gotta have a full Kira with a Graviga to make a fucking darkness. I wonder if we can buy it from somewhere. HP plus 80%? That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just do that. AP plus 80%. Yeah, it's not like I'm using the Cura for anything since I already have a Kiraga anyways. Yeah, screw it. Where's the one that I already have equipped? This one. Now, do we have anything that... Yes, Fat Chocobo Feathers. HP plus 130? I mean, that looks pretty good to me, dude. Fuse. I'm sure it's not actually the best move, but don't care. Equipment. No. Not on this one. This one's getting that Kiraga that I have. Wherever that's at. There it is. How many... 
materia do we have? Because you can only carry so many. And then you... Okay, you already got the HP up plus 130%. Uh, you're also meant to have Kiraga equipped, though. Nice. Steel, I only have one of, so I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, let's go. And we got new mail. Never mind. <laughs> let's not go. What do you got? Simultaneous attack. Zach, where are you? Soldier operatives... Try again. Soldier operatives are being sent out because we're getting attacked from all over the place. I'm on a chopper myself on my way to an assignment. You were on vacation, weren't you? Did it get cut short? These recent attacks may spell real trouble for us. What's worse, the chain of command is in shambles since Director Lazard suddenly disappeared. Nobody seems to know where anyone is. Eh, sucks to suck. I just get cursed? Wait. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm very confused and about to die. <laughs> I think I might oh, have yeah. <laughs> screwed something up somewhere. Go back to the equipment screen. Why do I have the cursed ring on this? <laughs> I mean, the cursed ring is powerful, don't get me wrong, but bruh. <laughs> also, Kiraga should be here. Uh, Kiraga should be there. Yeah, and HP up should be there. Barrier and barrier steel. Okay. There we go. Oh. Except, I also want to put that one, not the other one. Missed the chest. It's probably going to be useless. Drain? Meh. It's hard to justify using drain and shit whenever I can just, you know, Hollander! use cure. Although, you won't get away. is drain MP or HP? I think it's HP, but... Come on, man. A free way to get MP would be useful, though. Stop pestering me! Activating combat mode. I hardly ever actually steal. I should probably just unequip steal, honestly. And then equip something like attack up or HP up or, or something along those lines. Uh, what can we do with attack up? Can we do anything cool with it? Can we make it, like, ridiculous? Back up plus. Right now it's sitting at 14. There's 15, 15, 16, 17, 20. What was 20? Dark Fendago. I'd rather not. Another 20. Oh, that's our nice HP up though. So yeah, no, not really. Still equip something here though. I mean if I'm never gonna use it anyways, what's the point of having it here? HP up, less dying. Take us up to over five thousand HP. Mm. I kind of want attack up, man, but it's not as impressive. Just plus fourteen. Yeah, let's just do the HP up. I think we'll be happy enough with that. No. So many copies. Activating combat mode. I think we can handle it though, man. All this complaining you're doing about the copies, like, it's 
really not that bad. Ow. Why you keep running, bro? Where are you gonna go? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that wasn't a terrible idea. But you really think something like that's gonna get me down, man? Come on. A new model? Yeah. Just you wait, Hollander. Activating combat mode. Are you weak too? No, you're not weak though. I was hoping to line a couple of them up. Oh, I'm at the edge. There we go. Oh shit, not enough. <laughs> not enough MP! Ow. Also, ow. Brace yourself. Get wrecked. This isn't gonna do much. <laughs> it's level one against an armored tank. I'm guessing a couple thousand. Oh, never mind. Nine, 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 nine. Which I mean. Considering how much health it's got in total, that's still not shit, but Take that. Here we go. Gonna love this. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> See what I mean about some of them? Like their abilities are just impossible to take out. Oh, is that all it does? It just summons more of those dudes? Okay. Well, that's not actually that big of a deal then. Excuse me. I'm trying to cure here, dick. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> Invincible, let's go. really cool is if you could have uh, swapped your loadouts like mid battle that would have been really handy thing to be able to do taking you down oh no you don't you have to kill stuff for the proficiency to go up it doesn't seem like just attacking does it Does this like change the number of them? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the farther down we get that, does it change the number of them that it spawns? I'm a little bit confused about what the the because normally it like lessens the amount of damage the attack does. But since this is just a summon one, that's the only thing I can think of. I mean obviously getting it down to zero would cancel it entirely, but when you get it down to 75%, does it, like, summon 25% less? Oh, I will gladly take that level up. Thank you. Hands up. That's enough. They really have to give you, like, no weaknesses, my guy. I guess here's our chance to see. The lowest we got him before was down to like 75. Okay, yeah, so he only summoned two that time. That makes sense. That'd be a great time for another like a 
summon or something so I could get rid of these guys easily. Because you're not weak to anything. Does, I mean, that does like, what, 6,000 or something? Yeah, that only does 3,000. Dark Faraga honestly seems like the best one unless somebody is resistant to it. Because it shoots out three different fireballs, each one doing like 1500 ish damage. We'll lock the gate and make this a place of refuge. Making progress, huh? As for me, I still haven't secured Hollander. Gotta move. Yes, understood. Uh. Are you a child? What are you doing out Mr. here, my Shulker, guy? Please do something. Or shouldn't you be like at home or something, man? Haven't arrived at my post yet. Could the director's absence have be having this much of an impact on the operation's lack of finesse? By the way, how was the beach? You looked awfully stressed out before you went. Did the waves and the sun help you at all? Eh. <laughs> Soldier members are being deployed in response to the simultaneous attacks that have been hitting everywhere. I'm mailing you from the helicopter that's taking me to my assignment. By the way, I just heard about what you told the rookies on your first mission after you changed your hairstyle. Embrace your dreams and whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. I was so moved when I heard this. It's been my personal motto ever since. I'm following you until the end, Zach. I don't remember who that is. <laughs> I don't know if I should remember who that is. L U X I Lux Ray Lux. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Lux. That grunt there, he got air sick. Man, as if we don't have enough problems already. Is that a thing? I've always been worried to get on boats for extended periods of time because I feel like I'll get boat sick, seasick, whatever it's called. But is air sickness you know, a thing? I just saw Cisne heading to the eighth level of Upper Juno. First an assault on Midgar, and now there's trouble in Juno? I have to say, this hasn't been a good year for Shinra. I'll rendezvous with Cisne and continue the evacuation. You keep pursuing Hollander. You got it, you my guy. Have you any idea what Junon's annual budget is like right now? We're in the red as it is. Get rid of these monsters at once. <laughs> huh? What's the commotion? Are Love that sure that's what he's worried about right now. Wow, it's a spectacle. Meanwhile, that lady's just like, man, look at all the pretty sights. Things are blowing up everywhere. Hey. You okay? Yeah. I got sick on the helicopter. The what? Cloud? Zach, you remembered. Well, of course. Good to be working with you again, man. Yeah. Although my job is kind of dull. Don't say that. Search and rescue is very important work. Hey. Why don't we grab a bite to eat after you're done? My treat. Really? That would be great. So, once I'm feeling better, I'll go. Because right now, just thinking of food makes me. Oh, sorry, Zach. <laughs> My bad. Don't sweat it. Well, hope you feel better soon. Try to throw up, Cloud. <laughs> If he can help it. That way is the air base. He's trying to get away by air? No way. <sighs> come, come, come. Ooh, more I fun machines. What happens to Junon if you can't stop them? No worries, man. I'll stop. Ah, damn it! He's destroying the gate to attack the civilians. 
Hollander, once I catch you, I'll deck you good. I mean, the Turks are in there. They could probably deal with a couple little machines, man. The weapons Hollander used to escape are now headed to the evacuation area. Destroy them before they can bring harm to Junon's residence. You can initiate battle with the weapons by coming into contact with the enemies. Make sure you destroy all the weapons to prevent them from breaking through. Start with the ones closest to the defense line. <laughs> Two down. Activating combat mode. Is it just one this time? Yup. Oh, yeah. Any more? Activating combat mode. Can I get that two for one special? Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, there's little guys too. Hi. Activating combat mode. Oh, yeah. Dark Thundaga just feels like cheating in this scenario. Activating combat mode. Ah. Uh, no gravity, please. Oh, yeah. Did that hit? No, okay, no damage. Activating combat mode. Complete oh, yeah. resolved. Activating combat mode. Get wrecked. Oh, yeah. As long as I can keep doing this without taking damage, I'm Activating regaining all of my MP too. Like, I could just go forever, dude. Activating combat mode. Oh shit, is there another one? Oh, yeah. Almost got me there, bud. Any more? Oh yeah, Activating they just keep coming. Out of the way. Oh, yeah. Or you guys literally don't stand a chance, man. Is there like a bigger enemy Activating I need to fight or something? Oh no. Thought it was something bigger. It's not. He just spawned behind me. Alright. That's all Polander. You'll pay for this. But they really weren't that big of a deal. Magic up plus times one. Eh. It's always nice to have, I suppose. Uh chests. Any? No? Really? Not a single? Hmm. Seems suspicious. But okay. Of course we'll save. I don't think we necessarily need it, but if the game offers. Feels irresponsible not to. Scorpion types? Hollander's too well connected. Activating combat mode. And no reason to lose. Okay. Uh, bad enough field. Oh, you dumbass. <laughs> I literally walked right into that. What's this Kiraga take? 26 MP, okay. Take 
having some sort of like recover MP when you attack thing would be super handy, man. I liked it better whenever you just kept doing the EM field. Oh, and a healing wind? Let's go. Healing wave. Sorry, not wind. Close enough. You want to go back to just... Yes, that. Bro, that is not what we just agreed on. We literally haven't done anything this entire battle, my guy. I don't think he's touched me. Oh, no, wait. I did run into the end field once. Because of my own stupidity, I took damage. <laughs> Hollanders that way, right? I really have to get serious now. And before Hollander gets away and it's our fault. That's far enough. <sighs> really? You sure? Hey! What is he... Uh, should have known. <sighs> Mission failed. This goes on your permanent record. Uh, now look who finally showed up. Huh? Sephiroth? Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. The situation has not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. That can't be. We wiped out those Genesis copies. Did Genesis really die? Uh. They've been sighted in Midgar as well. I see. The slums, too. Permission to return, granted. Uh, uh, yeah. Take care. You too. So does that make Sephiroth our boss? <laughs> I mean, I guess he is the highest cl hey, ranking what's soldier going on member. In the device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis? Probably. Uh We'll meet again soon. I'll hold you to that. It's weird seeing Sephiroth as, you know, a decent guy. Your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface, quietly, but surely. Welcome back. I'm Stream. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome, Nate. Save? Sure, man. Does that take us? Okay, we're still in Chapter 6. Because I don't want to move on to Chapter 8 until I at least grab all of the uh, side quest start things. 
Even if I don't necessarily complete them, like, hmm? right away. I thought I sensed something, but... Maybe not? How did you miss that? It didn't even, like, come out of hiding. It's just going down the road. Oh, damn, that sucks, man. Did you get it figured out okay? Any angel copy? You don't know why, but you got it started. Well, <laughs> that's always the worst, man. I hate when that happens to, like, computers and shit. Thank you. Was it protecting us? Yeah, probably. Looks like it's degrading. Poor thing. Does this mean Angeal is out there too? <laughs> it was so, I don't know, sad. What did you come here to do? So, a flower wagon. Let's make one. Hmm. Yeah, but... Don't worry. Can you hear me? Stay right where you are. I don't know if that thing's going to listen to you, my guy. I'll take care of things. So, that flower wagon, let's do it. Come on, Zach. Come this way. Uh, yeah. Hey, Aerith. When the wagon's done, will you go above the plate? Yeah, but I'm still a little scared. So first... I'll fill the slums with flowers. Oh, come on. When you go above, I'll be with you. Don't be afraid. Zach, thank you. Right. Now that that's done, let's get this wagon built. I'll go gather the materials. Aerith, you wait here. Yep. Did you say hi to Mr. Noodle? Holy shit, we got mail, okay. Add a new mission. Uh, mail time. Cisne, you're not busy, are you? I guess Soldier is in a state of utter chaos without Director Lazard. Certainly more than the President can handle. So now he gives us Turks all the work. Just the other day, I had to cut my vacation short. Well, that last one. I guess you knew all along that I was on assignment. I'm sorry. How are you doing these days? Still smoldering, I bet. Why don't you try the beach again? You need to take a break once in a while if you want to put in more quality work. Kunzel. Hmm, I wonder where you might be. Wait, let me guess. You're hanging out with that Aerith girl again, aren't you? I bet you're wondering how I got that inf information. See, I know everything about you, even if you never tell me anything. In other words, words, it's no use keeping secrets from me, because I know how to get information. So talk to me, Zach. You can tell me anything. Tell me about all the things that are wearing you down. Bro, that's kind of creepy, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, You just follow me around and shit? Uh... Online addresses for shops, okay. And material fusion tips. Electrocute Trithundaga with Libra. Both mastered. How the fuck do you get Trithundaga? <laughs> oh, that's another way to get costly punch. Hammer punch mastered with Libra mastered. Mm. 
Is there anything, like, to do here? Oh, shit. My bad. Stop I know. <laughs> Not on the flowers. My bad, dude. You're gathering materials, right? I think we already have most question mark of the materials. Like the the optional ones at least. Now you behave yourself. But there's quite possibly more we can unlock. If we did more of the uh, side missions and crap. <sighs> Look who it is. Ah, uh, there's more of you. Well, what are you waiting for? Activating combat mode. I really don't like these things. Damn you. This'll do. This is gonna sting. Nice. Heads up. Gonna love this. Taking you down. Oh, no, you don't. Are we didn't even get any proficiency for that. Wait, if proficiency just goes up when we kill stuff with the the battle stance. I feel like the best thing to do would be to just redo early side quests with easy enemies and then just like grind the hell out of them. What are these? A new automated weapon. They detect and attack monsters. Arms development deployed them. Their Midgar's anti-genesis copy measure. The copies inside Midgar have mostly been eliminated by them. Hmm. Impressive. But then why did they attack me? What? They can't tell the difference between me and a monster? Hmm. No, not currently. How annoying. They'll fix it eventually. By the way, Tsung, you're annoying too. You were spying on Aerith, right? What? No comment? Turks take care of Turk business. If you want to go play with Aerith, you're welcome to do so. Hey, I'm not playing. I'm fulfilling my duties as soldier to protect... Hey, mister, I heard you're making a flower wagon. Make it real fancy, so Aerith will be surprised. Wait, wait, Th this is for... <laughs> <laughs> to protect Aerith. Hey, so I don't think you could talk your way out of this one. <sighs> Let's see. The stuff we're still missing is tools, wood, tires, instructions. First, I think we should get some tools. We might find some on the ground here. Around here, there's some perfectly useful stuff just lying around. Building a flower wagon. To build a flower wagon, you will need tools, wood, wheels, and instructions. Collect wagon material. <sighs> Collect wagon materials in the Sector 5 slums market, Sector 5 church entrance, and Sector 8. So you can build a wonderful flower wagon for Aerith. Whoa, dude, my guy. I used to have a friend that claimed he was the Shinra president's son. That was weird. All my monitors just kind of blinked. It sounds like a made-up story to you, right? But his claim wasn't totally groundless. Because a woman who was once the president's lover actually lived in the slums. Dun, dun, dun. First, we need to... There should be some. You mean all these glowing things on the ground? Hey! Uh, yeah, take a closer look. Looks what is like a helmet. Trooper helmet doing around here? How did we get that confused with anything Could else? That under this dirt, uh, these are the slums, all right. Oh, wait. <laughs> are we saying there's a buried hey, security dude under the ground there? Mm. Kind of morbid. Oh, 
That's a good find. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Use tools. Cool, good cool. job, mister. Huh? You found some good stuff. With those <laughs> tools, you can make a flower wagon. Or even a Shinra mech. We should get some wood next. Something that's really sturdy. But looks kind of nice, too. Hmm. Wood, huh? Could we find some just lying around? Oh! Over in the slums market. I saw some wood near that shop. I don't think that guy wants us taking his wood, though. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, what was it? In the slums market, there's some wood lying around or something? I don't remember that. Oh my god, Zach, you're an idiot. Oh, wait. All the other... Well, that's lame. I wanted to see what the other points of interest on the map were here. So... You found something of value on my turf, eh? You got a lot of guts. I'll give you that. It's all good. First come, first served. That's the law of the slums. If you're looking for that boy, he went towards the market. Picking up some wood, he said. I mean, how much wood do we need? There's a piece right there. There's some right there. I bet if we look around a little bit more, there's probably... I mean, this house doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. We could probably take all of these planks. There's plenty of junk around here, man. I don't think we need to steal the wood well, from some dude's shop. Hear, there was once a picture-perfect Midgard dream that came true. It was a romance between a waitress and the president of Shinra. Oh, what I wouldn't do for that kind of drama in my life. Why would you wish for more drama in your life, dude? Spend most of my time trying to stay out of drama. This is an official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Lazar Ducercus, <laughs> Director of Soldier, KIA. Hollander Science Department, KIA. I don't think either one of those things are true, my guy. This is the Sector 5 slums. You won't find much economic growth here. From the slums market, you can make your way above the plate. Lately, the Shinner Company seems to be having a lot of problems. I heard that in Junon, a bumbling first let a criminal get away. Uh, about that. Well, I guess it has nothing to do with us, really. Bumbling's a little rude, don't you think there, lady? Honest mistake, dude. Too busy protecting people's lives, that's all. Outside this gate is it to the right, there's a Here's the intel on spy number. This spy managed to Oh yeah, I forgot we were looking for a spy last time too. In action. Employee or associate. Uh and uh, no, where is the wood guy? Wood. Anything from if you need I mean no. I guess we'll take it. Hey, hey, you what are you doing there? Someone dropped this on the ground. Is it yours? It wasn't dropped there. It was placed. What are you up to exactly? Well Hmm. A flower wagon, eh? Actually, I'm a carpenter by trade. I live in the Sector 7 slums. I came here to purchase some materials. Hmm. I feel fate's hand. I would be willing to share some of my wood with you. Be careful with those fate things, man. They uh, <laughs> turn out they're a bit of a pain in the ass. Really? That would be great. However, there's one condition. Isn't there always? Currently, I'm building a, a, a bar in the Sector 7 slums. I want you to come up with a name for the place. Seventh Heaven. The bar? Yes. Done. Once the name is decided, I can build a mental image. And then I can work off of that image. I've been racking my brain for a while, but I can't come up with anything stylish. Oh, that's easy. 
The Happy Turtle. Bardisol. Seventh Heaven. Starlight. Uh, I wonder what you get for the other ones, but I mean, come on, you gotta pick Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven. Paradise in Sector 7. Seventh Heaven. It's simple, but conceptually sound. With heaven in the name, people have to feel like they're on cloud nine. Hey, that's not bad. Good food, good drink, and good service to boot. As if you were living above the plate. Yeah, great. Hmm. And down in the basement, there will be a secret room that no one knows about. Uh, why? <laughs> The HQ for an anti-Shinra group. Yes. A perfect bar for the slums indeed. Um, <laughs> you know that I'm with Soldier, right? <laughs> uh, I let my imagination run wild. That's how much I like the name. Yes, yes, you've done well. Hm. Very good. I owe you. So, as promised, I will share my wood with you. Context. Good job, mister. Looks like you found some wood to work with. Oh, I got some wood to work with. Yeah, it's really coming together. Next, we should look for tires for the wagon. Now, where can we find tires? Tires, wheels, Cars? Oh, yeah, of course. That car. Hey, just hold on a minute. This time I don't actually know what, what the kid's you mean talking about. Car. Which car are you talking about? The car on display inside Shinra HQ? Like in Sector 8, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the playground area in case there's any missions or anything fun that we missed. Lately, the Shinner Company... Actually, I have a girl back home. Even after moving here, I write to her all the time. <sighs> I really want to see my girl, but Nibelheim, it's just so far away, you know? Yeah, Uncle I feel it, bro. In a shiny golden house. His job is being a dog. He's nice to girls, and he's very handsome. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Your uncle's kind of a creep, and handsome is very subjective. I am a bra. I eat salt. You kids don't got I nothing like new? I like that we have more mem- that. No? Okay. Ooh, oh, we already talked I to you. heard fan club member, but isn't it amazing? It must be the chairwoman's work. I'm thinking that she must have a close relationship with Sephiroth. To be close with Sephiroth. I'm so jealous. Oh, new mail already. The Silver Elite. The memory of Silver Winds. Sephiroth is known to value his private life, but there was a time when he had two best friends. We'd like to share a story of his this threesome guaranteed to raise a smile. The soldier trio would use the training room exclusively as their playground, but in order to retain their first class dignity, they would sneak in only after the second class members had gone home. Then they would proceed to have one of the three stand with a dumb apple on his head while the other two would throw their swords at the apple to pierce it. Sephiroth always won, his Masamune always striking every dumb apple dead center. It's hard to imagine those three guys just playing, frankly, kind of childish games like that. Don't know if I necessarily believe it, but it's uh, it's kind of fun to think about. Oh wait, sector five slums. Okay. What sector are we in? Oh, new mail. Again. Our email is just blowing up, dude. Tunsil falling apart. 
Those copies Hollander made that attacked Shinra, did you know that Director Lazard financed Hollander with money he embezzled from the company? Seems revenge against the company was the motivation for both of them. I can understand Hollander wanting revenge, but why with Lazard? He climbed up the ladder while he was still young, and he was always a decent guy. What could he have had against the company? I do remember him writing about ill blood in one of his na mails. Speaking of climbing up, the president's son already made vice president. You think Lazard was after the VP's chair? Lux, changing chain of command. Zach, where are you? Have you heard that Director Lazard passed away? He was such a good man. May he rest in peace. I wonder what's going to become a soldier's chain of command. I'm actually a little worried about the future. Who do you think I should follow? I think you, with your sunny disposition, would be the man to look up to for leadership in these uncertain times. Following you until the end, Zach. Lux must be that, like, second class or third class soldier or whatever that we did a bunch of missions for. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so while we're running around, we need to look for someone that appears to be a member of Shinra or an associate to Shinra. Uh, no. Oh, hi, child. My mom has gone missing. Well, that sucks. She left a letter saying she was going on a journey. Where did you go? Please, mom. Bro, that's kind of fucked. Your mom just up and left. <laughs> just left you a note and was like, peace out, bro. I heard the silver elite. I didn't have. There's a reason people say the fan club's an urban legend. Still, it has to be. I mean, I can tell you where the recruiter's at. No guarantee she'll let you in, but... Just happens to be in the playground in the slums, actually. If you want to just go give her a chat, you know? Maybe you could talk her into letting you, letting you sign up, man. At this rate, we'll have to break up the fan club. Oh, no. Our fan club received funding from Genesis's family to carry on our activities. But suddenly, we lost all contact with them, and now we can't keep up with the operating costs. There's no way we could carry on with our activities. Genesis, I'm so sorry. Merge with a rich fan club or get a part-time job at Shinra? Merge with a rich fan club. Or hang in there. Ooh. This probably, like, changes things. At some point. We're Merge with the rich, rich one. Fan club. Do you know? I mean, we were the richest fan club in the city. But now look at us. The only assets we have remaining are the leftover stock of our Benora apple jewelry. Where would we... I mean, but... I mean... Isn't there, like, another Genesis fan club that's selling the book club? The Genesis book club? This is Sector 8. If you walk from the... F if you go up the stairs from the station... That was my thinking, but... Uh huh. This is... If, if from the... I already talked to you. Go away. <laughs> Look, you looked kind of like a Shinra employee, okay? Thought maybe you knew a little something about some Wu-Tai spies, that's all. That one's still blocked off. Y'all got nothing. Riding you got more Hyperion. mail. Joe races across. I wish I could see him again. My chocobo prince. This Does he play a bigger part in the story ever? <laughs> like, nicknamed Loveless Avenue. Like, these people keep talking about him. That uh, chocobo jockey, but Loveless is considered a literary masterpiece. They've even made it into a play. But I don't remember if we ever like really get to do anything with him. Very soon, the Loveless Study Group will become the official Genesis fan club. The days when we were given dirty looks and couldn't even recruit new members, those days are finally coming to an end. You know, that other fan club is having money problems right now. I don't care. We had financial problems at one time, but they didn't lift a finger to help us. 
Well, they said if you agree to merge, they'll give you apple jewelry. They have lots. Apple jewelry? Uh, very well. If they're willing to go that far, then that's enough to bring us to the table. Don't misunderstand. I'm not selling out for jewelry. I was just profoundly moved by your passion. You're totally selling out, dude. So, I guess we uh, probably got to go back and talk to that other fan club now, huh? What do you say, my man? How about this ride? Pretty hot, right? Actually, I'm collecting materials to make a wagon, and I sort of have a favor to ask you. A favor? So let me see. There's this Aerith girl, and you want to put together a flower wagon for her. Yep. Ah, young love. All right then. My man, take these. Yay! Those tires are from my secret stock. They can withstand up to 140 MPH. I don't think the wagon's gonna be going 140 MPH. <laughs> Who the fuck says MPH? You can bet I'll be rooting for you, my man. Oh, mister! That's great! You found some good tires. What a relief. Lastly, the instructions. I mean, who'd know how to build a wagon without instructions, right? <laughs> and I've already got a book with instructions on me. What? Why are you staring? I didn't steal it. Mm. Wait, what? It's gone. Gone! Oh no! I must have dropped it! Oh man! I put it in my carrying case because I knew it was important! Carrying case? A Shinra Trooper helmet! I found it a long time ago! You don't say. A Shinra Trooper helmet? Didn't I see one recently? Hey, when you dropped it... Wow, gone already. So, I wonder if the first object that we look at always is the Shinra Trooper helmet then. It's like, otherwise, we wouldn't have any idea where the hell it was at if we went right to the, like, the, the good one, the, the actual, like, the right option. You need some good tires? I feel that, man. Now, my tires are actually pretty decent. I don't know if they're the best one for the type of car that I have, but... Uh, I thought for sure you were suspicious, man. Oh, this lady. The study group has proposed a merger with us. If the talks go as planned, we can continue running our fan club activities. I heard you played a big part in this. Thank you. I'll recommend that you be made an honorary member of the club. You're welcome, dude. Uh, I mean, weren't we already a member of the club, though? I guess it's nice to be an honorary member or whatever, but like. Your assistance is much. I will. If you. My piece of. But I mean, actually. We... Right, Pretty sure we've help. talked to everyone here already. Trying to figure out if they're the, uh. The spy, but like. Maybe someone new spawned? <laughs> like. How long do we gotta wait for, for a new spy to the spawn or before they disappear I don't think it's going to be you guys back there I can't remember when did we get new mail the gift of the goddess the source of life is said to bring immortality the most widely accepted theory equates the gift of the goddess to the Benora white there is, however, another theory which suggests that it is the planet, not any human, that becomes immortal. This suggests two other interpretations of the gift. One is an all-consuming destruction, the other is an all-healing salvation. Genesis believed in the latter, predicting some sort of salvation from the gift of the goddess. 
It seems that Soldier Director Lazard, who was recently reported as KIA, simply vanished instead. Sources say Lazard has been embezzling company money to fund Hollander's attack on Shinra. It is also believed that Hollander, who was held captive in Junon, has fled with Lazard's aid. An investigation has revealed that both men have held ill, Ill fit feelings towards Shinra. This comes as a great shock to the parties involved, as members of Soldier have had the utmost confidence in Lazard. Yeah, it really is kind of a surprise, my guy. Hey, look at that. More mail. Hey, you've been around for a while. You're not new. Incidentally, my comrades on the S to go from Midgard. It doesn't even look like you have anything new to say. What about in the exhibition area? Kinda thought we were gonna come here and steal tires from this car, I'm not gonna lie, but this is this it's out in this Ooh, pipe. Just now, I saw a boy trying to steal oh a tire from one of the cars on display. I mean, can you believe if you see a suspicious looking just now? I mean if you I'm not even surprised. Sid Nobody here. Uh, sure, soldier floor. We've talked I to you before. It was the, I look, among all the department heads, Director Lazard was the best boss we could have. Heidegger, Scarlet, Palmer, Reeve. If any of them were my boss. I'd quit long ago. I can't. I... Yeah, you don't seem suspicious, honestly. Anybody new in the training room? Mm, no. Today we are going. It's important that we make F ready for your. I mean, I've, we've already done this, so no, we're good. When I was, well, we only. Hmm. We could always just look it up, but like. Director Lazard, he turned his back on Shinra. I can't believe. I can't believe how hard of a time we're having finding this stupid ass spy, dude. Talked to all of you many times. My dream. Is to, it's still just a pipe dream. <laughs> you two are talking about who the hottest person is that works I was here. With the security department. But one day, I met Director Lazard because I wanted to work under him. I transferred to Soldier. The director was a traitor to Shinra. I still can't believe it. Or Shinra is just a shitty ass company. Like, have you heard the news about Director Lazard, Zach? Talk about a shocker. With Director Lazard out of the picture, Soldier's chain of command is in shambles. Get this there's even talk in the upper circles of merging Soldier with the security department. So Heidegger would be the, the head of Soldier? Hmm. <laughs> a merger with the security department means. We're going to be put under the command of Director Heidegger. I'm not sure that windbag is a suitable replacement for Lazard. Oh, why couldn't it be Director Scarlet? I couldn't agree with you more about the Heidegger thing, man. I, I don't necessarily think uh, Scarlet's any better, though. She's a wee bit crazy. Right now... The soldier director's office is being thoroughly searched for evidence. Turns out, the actual mastermind behind the attack on the building was Director Lazard. I can't believe it. He seemed like a nice person. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Too true, my guy. Hey, you still doing squats? I'm embracing my dreams. I've decided to stay in soldier a while longer. So I can become an operative like you. My first goal is squats. 
I'm hoping to do over a thousand of them eventually. I mean, if you've been doing them non-stop since the last time we spoke, you should be getting pretty close, my guy. Okay, and that's everywhere in here except for director's office. Which maybe with people like searching it right now, the spy is hoping that he can sneak out some uh, some info. This area is currently under investigation for possible leads on Director Lazard's disappearance. If you have no business here, this area is. If you okay, you seem legit. You know, there's something that's always bothered me. Director Lazard reminds me of someone else I know. Hmm. Who could it be? Hmm, I know I've seen that face somewhere. Uh, hmm, I know. Wait, who is it actually? So, Director Lazard is funneling money to Hollander. I guess we now know the reason why the Turks pay so much better than Soldier. So, Direct. I guess. But who does Lazard look like? <laughs> the investigation has revealed that everything we knew about Lazard was a lie. Lazard's the secret kid of the Shinra president, isn't he? This was a man with a near impeccable reputation. It seems we just never really know about people. I don't the remember, but I bet that's revealed it. revealed that everything we knew about Lazard was a lie. The timing, man, it's just, there's no way it's coincidence. Like, everybody in the slums talking about there being a uh, illegitimate child of the president. Lazard going missing. Nobody knows why he's mad at the company. Like, I'm fairly certain that's it. Regardless, though, time to go back to the slums, I guess. Nothing else to do around here, right? Hmm. The face is a three. Hey there, little. Nobody knew. There's you. The train, if you take the train. This guy always looks like a Shinra employee to me, but. You never seem suspicious when I talk to him, though. I'm pretty sure we talked to everyone here. You would think he would spawn now, like it's a whole new chapter. I wouldn't expect us to have to, like, wait any longer to find the guy, but I don't know. Maybe we do. So could his carrying case be this helmet? Huh? There's something inside. How to build a oh! wagon. Mister! Those are the instructions I dropped. So... This is where I dropped it. <sighs> Thank goodness you found it. Why would you put something so valuable in a thing like this? Because no one would ever think there's treasure stuffed inside a Shinra helmet. That's something we call street smarts in the slums. Now, it looks like we've got everything we need. Aerith might start getting impatient, mister. All right. I'm out of here. Huh? You're not coming with me? <laughs> I know when to give people privacy. Wink. Hey, let's collect materials again soon. If we look throughout Midgar, we might find all kinds of different stuff. See ya! Thanks, kid. All right. I should go. I've been keeping Eric waiting too long. So I wonder what we do with all the other materials that I collected. The ones that I collected through like side missions. 
I guess maybe we can make like more than one cart. When I was reading the like things you can miss, I think it did say something about three carts, right? I think that's what I said. Welcome back, Zach. Looks like you got the materials. Okay, let's start making the wagon. Flower wagon materials, used tools, old lumber, worn tires, how to build a wagon have been given to Aerith. Wow, it looks really good. The materials are matching perfectly. Hmm, not quite what I expected. Really? I think it's fine. It's all about the flowers anyway. I want the nicer one. <laughs> Stop being Bitch. so picky. <laughs> Listen. A tiny little wish. That's all. They're tiny, but you have lots, right? That's right. Want to hear? <laughs> How many you got? Hmm. Twenty-three? Write them down so I don't forget. Hmm. There are new developments. What? Headquarters now. <sighs> Work stuff? Sadly. Here. Mm -hmm. Bruh. <laughs> Legions of monsters have spawned near a regional Mako reactor. The workers have all gone missing. Local soldier operatives have also vanished. The company is dispatching additional operatives to investigate the matter. You and I, that is. Roger that. What's wrong? Well, you know. I thought you found something out about that other matter. The missing operatives were the ones tracking Lazar. What? Also, they have reported a strange pod-like device in the area. Is that... Hollanders? Probably the same device that was stolen in Odeoheim. Meaning... Lazar? Hollander? And Genesis? We'll have to go see them. Mm. Let's go. First, go to the soldier floor. We'll depart. As soon as you and the rest of the men are ready to go. Understood. Our orders are to investigate the reactor. Hmm? They mention nothing of... old friends. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. <laughs> Until then, I'll remain loyal to Soldier. Everybody just up and leaving this bitch, ain't they? Yeah, no one's coming. Hey, Zach. I heard you're going on a new assignment with Sephiroth. I'm being sent to Fort Condor to inspect the reactor. I guess it's goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, huh? Huh? Does saying goodbye to me make you that sad? Well, isn't that sweet? But come on now. It's that girl in the slums you're thinking of. Hey, you still have time, right? Go see her before you leave. Don't worry about it. I'll explain everything to Sephiroth for you. I don't think he's going to be too happy about that, to be honest. But, uh, sure thing, boss. You know, it's a new... Is that what We're not... You know, it's a new one. Okay. Nothing important. Anybody new? <laughs> Where is this freaking spy at, man? My next mission... Is clearing. Director Lazard may be gone. Good for you. Right now, monster. They're sending me out too. 
Go ahead and As for manga. me, I think these are. We all do what? None. Okay. Hey, you still have time. Son of a bitch. Uh, hold on. Briefing room. Hunsel and I are being sent to investigate the Mako reactor in Fort Condor. Zack, somehow I feel this is the last time we'll see each other. Just kidding. We'll be fine. Bro, they're gonna die. <laughs> 100%. They're gonna die. Stop squatting for two seconds. I'm embracing my dream. I've decided to... My... Okay, well, you didn't have anything new to say. All right. Uh, tell you what. I was going to go ahead and call it there, but the next time that we stream this, I don't want to have to go straight into searching more for this stupid spy. Or we could just cheat and look it up. Might just look it up instead. <laughs> Shinra fully plans to establish the rocket engine as the next step in industrial development. Manned rocket Shinra number 26 is in full production with a projected launch within a few years. The proposed model for Shinra, num Shinra number 26 is on display in the exhibit room in the Shinra building. Development is proceeding steadily and our pilot, Sid Highwind, has begun training. Noise. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's a better idea, man. And then wasting a bunch of time running around trying to find the stupid spy. I'll just look it up. That's easy enough. It's not like it's spoilers or anything. Uh, let's throw a save down. Yes. And all right, guys. Yeah, I think that's enough for today because I don't want to, like, get into the middle of the next mission or something like that and have to call it there. Real quick before we hop off, though, we do have that, excuse me, that poll that's going on to see what people want to see RimWorld replaced with. I'm not sure where it's sitting at, so let me just pull it up here real quick. Oh, it's actually dead even. <laughs> two, two, and two. Two on everything. Gonna have to get at least one more person to vote on it to break the tie. We still have a while before uh, before the votes are finalized or anything like that. I don't have an exact time frame. It just depends on how long RimWorld ends up going on for, the current one that we're doing. Because I'm not gonna end it early or anything like that. This is just for after the current run ends. Uh, so yeah, I guess to be determined on that still. Two, two, and two, man. That's <laughs> okay. Anyways, though, that's for later. As for now, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while we played a little bit more Crisis Core. Hopefully, we don't continue having problems with the <laughs> Twitch around, I guess, 6.30 on Wednesdays. It's just a bad time. I don't know. You had a suggestion? I'm willing to hear it. What kind of suggestion you got, my guy? Um, What was I going to say? Oh, I guess I was just saying goodnight. We'll wait for your suggestion, though. I'm not in a rush. I got time. Is it, uh, like, a suggestion for a category or something? Or, like, a way to, to do the poll? It seemed like you got a lot of views for the Game Boy Color games. I know. But I don't know if that was just a fluke, man. <laughs> That's why we have, uh whatchamacallit the we have both harry potter and uh pokemon crystal on the list for games to complete test it it's not a bad idea we probably should one of these days just give it a test run like maybe one of the playstation 2 nights or something like that just do it and see if it happens the same way again it was just weird. Like, it wasn't even a game that I expected to get a bunch of views or anything. A freaking Game Boy Color Harry Potter game of all things. <laughs> like, but it did kind of get a lot for some odd reason. Not on YouTube, though, from what I remember. Hold on. Let me uh, pull up YouTube here real quick. So I'm pretty sure that video is live on YouTube at this point. And, I mean, I generally get more views on Twitch than I do on YouTube VODs anyways, which uh, is only a little bit surprising. I mean, I don't really do anything on YouTube, so there's that. But uh, Twitch just isn't really that well known for, you know, it's VODs. Harry Potter Analytics. 
yeah, it's actually sitting at three less than usual <laughs> on YouTube, which is weird, you know? I would think if there was just a bunch of uh, people wanting to see that game, like it would transcend Twitch. Also, you know, YouTube would have would have got a bump in views from it too, but I don't know. Maybe it's a, a Twitch-specific thing. People just need more Game Boy Color in their lives. The only Game Boy Color games I own right now are that Harry Potter game and Pokemon Crystal. What we could do, I mean, it's a Pokemon game, so I don't know how fair of a test it is, but uh, after I fix that Pokemon Crystal cart, because I still need to do the battery swap in it, um, whenever I fix that, maybe we'll stream it one night to test it out, make sure like the save function's working and everything in it, and uh, at the same time try playing another Game Boy Color game. Like, any Game Boy Advance games? Not anymore, man. Like... I lost all of my old Game Boy stuff whenever I had the fire forever ago. So that's that's literally it. <laughs> I have no Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, just those two. Like, ooh, Tactics would be fun. I do want to play Tactics Advance one of these days. I have Tactics for the PlayStation 1, but Tactics Advance always seemed like the cooler copy of it. The cooler game. Uh, either way, I'd be down to maybe borrow it. <laughs> I want to get a uh, analog pocket. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a uh, a uh, FPGA clone of... Well, FPGAs can be reprogrammed, so it can do multiple different things. But it's meant to clone like the original Game Boy. Uh, out of the box, it was made to do Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. And then you can get adapters to do like a couple other handheld consoles. Uh, since then, the console's been unlocked, and you can download other quarters for it and stuff, and, and do all kinds of funky things with it, as far as, like, uh, playing, you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo and shit like that on there as well. I specifically want it for the handheld console capabilities, plus the fact that it comes with a dock. So the same thing I do with the GameCube to stream Game Boy, Game Boy Color games and all that, uh, you can also do with the Analog Pocket, uh but with like higher fidelity because it's you know over hdmi runs at a higher resolution all that stuff so pretty cool you have a2 as well very nice man i uh i need to the reason why i haven't really bought any handheld games like game boy game boy color all that is because i don't really own any of those consoles right now besides that one single game boy color and there's only a, a small handful of game boy color games that i'm interested in outside of uh like interested in collecting at least outside of Pokemon games, but Pokemon games are just stupid how much they cost, man. It's ridiculous. But yeah, like I was saying, either way, I'm definitely down to borrow it and uh, we can try tactics out as the, uh, the tester. I'd be okay with that. Give me a chance to play it a little bit and uh, to try out the whole Game Boy side of things again. But we'll talk more about that later. Uh, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me while I played a little bit more Crisis Core. Don't know quite how much longer we have for this game. I'm assuming at least a few more weeks. In the meantime, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Wait until I tell the guys I helped Harry Potter. To view your Folio Magi Folio Triplicus, press Start to bring up the main menu and then select Folio Magi or Folio Triplicus. Okay! Folio Magi, then. Oh god, there's a lot. <laughs> I did not expect there to be this much to it, man. We got Roderick Plumpton, Thaddeus Thurkel, Thurkel, Andros the Invincible, and Hesper Starkey. Oh, we can see more about them. Alchemy? What's the alchemy thing? I'm so confused right now. Okay, what's Folio Triplicus? No wonder you were confused, Noodle. I'm confused. Okay, so because we got those three, we got that. You select card during a magical encounter to set up a card combination? Okay. I'm already lost, dude. Uh, let's just go to the bank. I'm assuming this is it. Looks like it. There's something written on the door. Enter, stranger, but take heed of what await the sin of greed. For those who take but do not earn may pay dearly in their turn. Spoopy. If you ever get lost, press select to bring up a message about your current location. 
I'll be honest, I don't know what the select button is on this piece of software. Uh, B and A or B and A, L and R that, Z. Z is uh, select, I guess. You are in Gringotts, the wizard bank, okay. Mr. Hagrid is waiting for you at the far end of the building. Mr. Hagrid and Mr. Griphook have been waiting for you. Sorry, it's an RPG. I have to talk to everyone. If you're looking for Mr. Haggard, he's back near the vaults. Mr. Potter, your party's waiting at the end of the lobby. Everyone's like, just fucking go to the end, dude. <laughs> Mr. Party, Mr. Party, your party is waiting. Huh. Mr. Haggard is waiting for you at the far end of the building. Is this a chest? Did I see a chest somewhere? No, I guess not. Now they're repeating messages part sucks, you'll probably die a lot. Only one way to find out, my guy. Okay. One of you have to say something interesting, right? Or not. That's fine, too. Hello. Uh, you look funny. Who are you? Hello, Harry. Good morning, Mr. Potter. My name is Griphook. We'd like to see Harry's vault now. Have you his key, sir? Here it is. <laughs> and there's also the matter of the you-know-what we talked about before. All seems to be in order then. Please follow me. Are we doing the cart ride? Stay together, please. Come on, Ari. Ah, uh, Wait, what? Did I just die? Oh, wait. Oh, God. He was, he, he was just right there, dude. Don't tell me we got lost. I think this is where Noodle was whenever <laughs> I loaded up her save. Gringotts vaults are really safe. Okay, so so how do we use... Do we just, like, run into things? You're about to enter a magical encounter and have several options. Spell lets you cast a spell. Item allows you to use an item. Card lets you create a card effect with famous witches and wizards cards. And flea lets you attempt to escape. Your stamina and magic points are shown in the display to the right. By the way,